Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for episode number two. Today I bring you to Castle Hort Golf Club, which is up near Rochdale. Um, it's quite a short course, so hopefully today's the day we break 100 on the channel. Um, so it's about five and a half thousand yards, which is really short for a course in England from the yellows. So here we go, let's get into it. First hole here is a short par four, quite straight. Don't get the best of connections, hit it a bit fat. I think it trickles into the right rough. So I can see here it's just in the rough. Sat down quite a bit, you can just see the top of the ball there. Just anywhere on the greens, really a great shot. And that lands just back of the green. A big lengthy put here for birdie down the hill. And leave it completely short. So it leaves us with another lengthy put here for par. Should have been closer. And again, leave that one short and it'll be a tapping bogey at the first. Bogey, great start. Bam. It only just trickled past the forward tees. Second shot here. We need a big one to make up for that. We actually hit a half decent one. However, I think it trickles into a bit of a stream. On the upslope here, just get it out, punch it out. I just push it up there. Uh, happy days. So this is the fourth shot now. Still a distance out, so it's not great. Just need to get it up there as close to the green as we can. Hit quite now, so I think it's short and left. Hit a really nice chip there. No complaints with that. So the third here is a par three over a load of rubbish. Absolutely smokes it, but into the trees at the back. Too big. So from one extreme to another, I've now thinned it over the back of the green. So finally, a decent chip shot on this hole, but there's still a lot of work left. And what a surprise, I missed that one. A tap in six at a par three. Oh, and don't we love to see those big slices? Another terrible tee shot here at the fourth. And that's four terrible shots in a row, and we're still not on the green. Right, golfers, this is probably the worst I've played in months now. So hopefully I'm going to just sit down, have a word with myself and hopefully we can start playing a little bit better on the next few holes. I hit this one so thin, but it's in the middle of the fairway. If 
finally a decent approach shot into the green, leaves it just on the edge. Another fin shot, fantastic. A really nice strike there, however, it leaks into the left trees. Tough put here down the hill, right to left and leaves it a bit short. Funny angle here as I couldn't get the camera behind me. But it gets a really nice strike, should be middle of the fairway. So I've come out of this one. Just look and see whether it's stayed in play. Hopefully it has. It's on the green. Big swinging put from right to left here. Leaves it about two feet on the low side of the hole. Nice par three here up the hill and hits it way out right and it stays right. Complete misread on line and speed on this spot. It leaves a lot there for bogey. So we're on the ninth hole now. Hoping we can finish this front nine with a nice tee shot. Good strike, but I think it goes into the left rough. The third shot here, just short of the green. Just needs a nice little chip up there. Great connection, but I think it's a bit big and it rolls down to the back of the green. It's decently lengthy put here for bogey. Good read, just didn't hit it hard enough. Nice short put here and it's missed. Over hit that way too much. Hi guys, so that gives me a, a on the front nine. We're here at Castle Hawkins, a nine hole course played from two different sets of tees. So hopefully I'm going to go out again on the different set of tees on the nine and let's see if we can break 100. Tune in for the next episode and we'll see whether I can break 100 after that poor performance on the front nine.